Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the last video of the Ranking My Aircraft series. Well, besides the finale, but this is the last group of aircraft we need to rank. And there is a lot, okay? That's a sneak peek right there. These are all of the 787s in my collection. Um, and, uh, yeah, by Darren, of course. This one... This is the ANA Boeing 787 by Welly, which is really cool, really awesome. But it's not Darren, so I'm not going to put it in the ranking video, but... <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm sick. But it would definitely rank up pretty high if if I could put it in the video. Um, I did an unboxing for this and almost all of the other planes that are about to be in this video. So feel free to check those out and go through my unboxing playlist if you want to see that but yeah there's the ana boeing 787 um yeah there is a total of one two three four five six seven um seven plus twelve there's like 19 boeing 787s in my collection that are all different from each other so this is going to be probably the longest of all of these videos because i've got a lot of planes to get through but i'm gonna kind of go kind of fast so starting off at 19th position we've got the boeing 787 in the old house livery um this livery is a little maybe more interesting than the newer house livery but i'm putting the newer house livery above it because i just think um it's a little cleaner and stuff this is the newer house livery I also like the tail a lot more on the newer one, and the the words are just bigger and stuff. But, uh, yeah, on the old one, kind of got blue underside. It says Boeing at the front. And then it's got, like, the blue kind of ocean-like swirls that go all the way to the back. And then it says 787 in, like, a lighter blue at the top. And then on the newer one, it says 787 in small letters at the front, and then it says Boeing in those really cool letters. Underside is also blue, and there's, like, a slight light blue shade, and then there's all these, like, um, gray lines at the later half of the aircraft, which kind of reminds me of Disney World for some reason, like, when, the way it says Dreamliner. I don't know why this reminds me of Disney World, but it does. And, yeah, I just think this is, this is actually a pretty cool plane. And then it says 787 with the 8, in large um let lettering on the tail and the tail is like this cool blue kind of diamond pattern um and yeah so that i think what that means is all of these boeings in this video are supposed to be 787-8s by darren i think but they just use the same 787 mold for everything obviously so yeah take it how you want it okay this is 18 spot all right Moving on, I don't know how the video is already three minutes long. You guys might be a little upset about this, but we have the stickers, stickers version of the United Boeing 787 coming in at 17th place. I just hate the way they did the stickers on this. Thank goodness they updated this model painted, which ranks very high on the list because the painted model of this is just perfect. But uh, yeah, because this is stickers, I don't really uh, like it too much. And I'm putting it at the bottom Mainly because there's the painted one later on in the list. That's just so much better. So I feel like I can get away with doing that. And I'm not going to go into detail on it because I'll just do that when we get to the better version. And then coming in at um, 16th place is the Latam Boeing 787. There was like a period like a few years back where Darren released like four new 787s in a row. And this is a part of that release. Um, and that was a lot of hype in the Darren community, but, like, in the end, all of these planes were stickers, and they just, not, they're not that great. Like, they, it was a good release because they released a bunch of airlines that no one had yet, um, but, like, the planes itself were, like, kind of mediocre. So, um, yeah, this one being the worst of them, in my opinion, it says Latam at the front with that cool little detail, and then the plane is just very boring, white. Then it says Dreamliner Boeing 787-8, I think. And then it's got the cool Latam uh, tail logo at the back. But yeah, no no registration, no flag, no nothing. I believe Latam originated in uh, Chile, by the way, which is interesting, I think. 
I'm not sure about that. I'm pretty sure. Okay, and then next, again, coming from that release um, that Darren did, you guys might be surprised I'm putting this guy this low. Um, again, it would be so much higher if this was not stickers and it was painted. But yeah, the Air New Zealand 787. Look, the, the detailing at the back is really cool and I really like it, but there's not a lot of actual aircraft details and it just seems... It was just kind of lazy by them, and I just, I, I don't like it as much as I hoped I would. It says Star Alliance logo at the front, then it says Air New Zealand in black. Um, yeah, it's all white until you get to the back where we've got, it goes into black, and then you see, like, the white leaf. Like, look how badly the stickers are done. It's just poor job by them. And then, and then you've got the Air New Zealand tail, which looks pretty good in black. Yeah, definitely the highlight of this model is that the back of it stretch is, like, black, and it's really cool. It's going to be really cool at airports and stuff. But, yeah, this place is 15th. Okay, again, another one you guys might be surprised about. I'm not sure. I kind of feel wrong for putting this guy this low. Um, you know what? I might, might bump him up a bit, actually, right now. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bump him up a bit, just because... The engines have painted details on them, so. Uh, coming in at 14th place, we've got the WestJet Boeing 787. This unboxing video on my channel was one of my first videos to get, like, a lot of views. It was a good video. Um, but, yeah, it's got the Canadian flag at the front. Then it says WestJet, and then it says Le Espirit du Canada. And then it's got stickers on the engines for, like, that little green detail. Which is cool, you know, but like, I don't know, the plane is just kind of simple. And then it says Dreamliner Boeing 787-8. And then you've got like the WestJet tail at the back. I didn't even know WestJet made 787s. This is, this is a real aircraft, right? Like, or did Darren just make a WestJet 787? That's like not real. I I'm wondering about that. <laughs> Let me know. I, I guess I can just research it too. Um, okay, and then next spot, this is honestly where they get pretty good from here on out. Coming in at 13th spot is um, the Aero Mexico Boeing 787. Um, this is a great, solid aircraft, um, I think. Darren did a really good job with it, and it's pretty good. But it is stickers, so yeah. It's got the Sky Team logo at the front, and then it says Aero Mexico with the Mexican flag. And then it's got this red line that swoops across the aircraft and it says dreamliner at the back like so many of the others and then near the back this is kind of similar to like something you see on an el al or something like that um basically this like arrow just starts and it's like light blue and then it's dark blue and it goes to the back of the tail where you've got the aero mexico tail logo with a little sliver of red at the top so yeah nice plane Okay, here we go. So I bumped this guy up. Originally, he was going to be a little further back in the pack, but I can't do that. Um, the British Airways 787 is coming in 12th on the list. This guy's cool, like, but he stickers, and I don't know. For some reason, the wings on mine and the stabilizers are a little discolored, which is weird. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. All the stickered British Airways models are just mid this one's alright, though, because the engines do have painted Rolls-Royce details on it. Rolls-Royce engines, which is pretty nice, I must admit. And I like how the engines are painted blue, too, and the underside is blue. So, yeah, it says British Airways, normal details, and then, and then it also has a registration, which is nice, unlike a bunch of these other aircraft. G-ZBJA, with that little detail that I don't know what that is. And then it says BJA again on the tail, like right there. And it's got British Airways classic tail. So yeah, with the red pointy thing at the back. So yeah, good, good, good model. <laughs> Definitely a worthy model for the collection. Okay, and then here, uh, along with the Air New Zealand, this guy got released. I'm really struggling to have this guy up this high on the list because I'm really not satisfied with the way they did the stickers. But it is an Etihad Boeing 787, which is just such a cool livery. 
and the plane itself is like this tan sandy beach color which is like very unique like there's no other aircraft like that and i just i love it so yeah even though they did a poor job with the stickers it's still a great plane in terms of the livery so yeah starting at the front you got the united arab emirates flag and then some letters in arabic and then it says etihad and then um another logo there i don't i don't know what that is but it's pretty cool and then at the back it just says dreamliner and etihad.com um and keep in mind this plane isn't damaged or anything like this has been kept in perfect condition like this is how it came here's the underside also tan underside looks pretty nice it's actually a little better on this side see the details but uh yeah there's all these like weirdly shaped geometrical triangles of like different shades of brown and gray and white and tan that make up like the tail and like the aircraft under it and there's also this little thing going on on the top kind of similar to the Aero Mexico starts with like a white spear and then goes into other colors and stuff and the tail is just really cool this and my new Qatar A380 are going to compete at airports, so it's going to be interesting to see that. But yeah, this um, is placing 11th on the list. This is crazy. I've already gone through so many planes, and there's still 10, 10 more. Okay, so here comes the last of that wave of four that came out that was so hype. And in my opinion, the best one. It's the El Al Boeing 787. Um, this plane, again, just like the rest, is stickers, but it's way harder to tell, because Darren actually did a really good job with these stickers, at least for the aircraft I got. I have two of these opened. But, um, yeah, the details are still minimalistic, but I just think this livery, like the Etihad, I think I like the Etihad livery a little more, but I think Darren pulled off this livery better, which is why I'm putting it ahead. And this El Al livery is also just drippy. Um, so it says L Al at the top, um, with some letters in Hebrew, I think. And then it's interesting how on the underside, like this blue and gray wraps around. And then, yeah, that slowly comes up to the aircraft and it does a triangle just like the other two planes, except facing the other way. And this is stickers, but like, again, like if you don't look at it closely, you won't notice that it's stickers, especially from afar. So it looks pretty good. And then um, as we get to the back, it says Dreamliner. And then it says Boeing 787-8, I assume. And then there you go. There's that classic LL tail with the Star of David and, like, the blue banner ribbon things. Yeah, it looks really good. So I'm excited to get that at the airports. Guys, like, since the last airport I've done, my collection, especially internationally, has expanded to an absurd amount which is just crazy to think about how my last airports like sfo could have benefited from all these models i have now um and if you're wondering about jfk i'll make a video about that soon but uh yeah you guys are probably not gonna like what i did to it <laughs> but don't worry there there will still be airports in the future whether it's jfk or not like don't don't panic but uh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, okay, so... In number nine spot, we're almost done with the stickers models. We've got the Spirit of Australia Qantas Boeing 787. Uh, I don't know why this, I think this one belongs as high as it does, but I just think it's a really clean, stickered 787. So I, I think it deserves the spot because of how clean it is and the good amount of details on it. Also, the engines have got the painted kangaroo, just like the new livery A380. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely a 